This is gonna be a fun video to film. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. If you guys can't already tell, this is not my normal setup because as I am filming this video, I am in Orlando, Florida. I've been down here the last week or so because I have been blessed with the chance to go to Playlist Live. It was absolutely amazing. I loved it so, so, so much and I thought it would be fun to show you guys some of the stuff I got as well as some of the other stuff I've bought while I've been down here in Orlando. So the day you're watching this will be Thursday. I am filming this on a Monday. Monday because I've got plans tomorrow, I've got plans Wednesday, I'm gonna edit this on the plane coming home Wednesday, and I know I'm gonna be way too tired to film when I get home, so that's why I'm filming it now. Here it is, my Orlando haul. I actually think I'm gonna start with the first thing I got, and it is this container, which I got to fill with bath bombs. There's this store in Disney Springs, which was formerly known as Downtown Disney, called Basin. They're kind of like a natural cosmetic store, kind of like Lush, but also not Lush, which is kind of what I like, because I don't really support Lush, because they don't support content creators, all that stuff. And I thought I saw bath bombs from like a mile away, so of course I ran. And mind you, at this point, I had never used a bath bomb I've actually bought. I've only used bath bombs that I've made. So I freaked out when they said I could fill this up for $20 and take four bath bombs home, especially because the house we're renting has a bath. I've already used three of them and I have one left and odds are I'm going to use it tonight because I can't ship them home because they're powder and it's just a mess, but I'm very excited. They've all been wonderful so far. I will definitely be buying more from this company. And now I think I'm actually going to move on to the stuff that I got when I arrived at Playlist Live. When I was ordering my Playlist tickets, I decided that I wanted some merch with it, so I got the standard merch pack and I got the Playlist 2016 t-shirt, which I mean I'm excited about. It's kind of cute. So it came with my ticket and I got to pick it up and all that good stuff. And with all of my registration also came this cute little drawstring bag, but I'm afraid it's very fragile and thin and probably gonna break soon. Also with that standard merch pack, I got this like rubber bracelet, you know, the ones that we all used to wear in our emo phase. It's got the Playlist logo on it. It's pretty great, it's pretty nice. And then obviously, I got my lanyard. Now I have a funny story about my whole Playlist registration, so if you guys wanna hear my story about this, main channel, side channel, Snapchat, wherever, make sure you leave a comment down below telling me you want me to tell the playlist story. But I got my name tag, I have one of my business cards that I put in here for a little bit of extra self promotion. And on the back here is a picture I took with a group of my great internet friends that we all met in a group on Tumblr and we all were going to playlist and they were absolutely amazing. I love them all and I will try to link them all below. And then this last piece of playlist merch is actually something I bought on the last day on Impulse because it was cute and I want to start wearing more of them and it is this playlist live snapback. It's got this really cool design on the bill here and it's just got the Playlist Live logo and it says Playlist Live on it and it's just like plain but it's also like nice and I don't know, like I, I can do it, maybe, kind of. I can try. And that's all the stuff I got that is directly related to Playlist Live. Now I am gonna go into some of the other merchandise I bought while I was there. Two of my absolute new favorite things that I bought while I was at Playlist were these shirts. They are both shirts from Bent Apparel, which if you don't know is a company that Chris Clements has created. The first one says chill on it in this chill Tumblr-esque font. It's pretty great. And the second one here, I actually wore it today, it says, I'm not your dad, which I mean, I'm not your dad. At least I don't think I am. Either way, they're pretty great. I'm obsessed, I'm gonna wear them all the time. You're gonna see a lot of them. Also for clothing, I kinda caved and had to buy the brand new release of Dan and Phil's merch. It's honestly so cute because if you were just looking at it, you wouldn't even know that it was Dan and Phil merch. It's just awesome. The Japanese words on it actually say Dan and Phil. That's all it means is Dan and Phil. And it's this like cute picture and it's on a crew neck. And y'all know, y'all know my relationship with crew necks. Crew necks are just great and I'm just, very excited about this piece of clothing. And actually to go with it, because it was not expensive, I uh, bought this flower crown, and it matches. Look, it matches. And the last thing I actually got from Playlist Live, which I'm super excited about, and I think I'm gonna go do some stuff related to it tonight after I'm done filming this, and I got Girl Online 
finally I have been wanting to buy this book for so 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 long and yes it was marked up about $10 at Playlist but I didn't care because I didn't have a book to read on the flight back so I got it and I am absolutely ecstatic to be able to read this because I've heard it's amazing. I am so excited. I am such a sucker for teen romance novels. You would not believe it and it's written by Zoe so I'm glad to add Zoe's book to my collection of YouTuber books. And now is for the last thing I bought well here in Orlando, but I actually have to go put it on, so I'll be back in a sec. I'm here. Yes, absolutely, 200%. I have finally, after years of wanting it, looking at it online. It's way more expensive online than it is the park. I finally have my authentic replica Slytherin robe. I'm so excited. Y'all are probably looking at me like, Riley, you're such a nerd. And believe me, I know. It's for my cosplay. It's just for my enjoyment. I love it. It's a good time. It's like green back here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just in love. I wore it the entire day I was at Universal, the day I got it. I mean, if you guys follow me on my social media, you'd know that I got this and was so pumped about it. And it's honestly really cozy, so I might just wear it in general. Anyways, that is all I have for my Florida haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. What did you guys do for spring break? Because spring break is like over now, right? What did you guys do for it? If you want to see more posts about my trip to Florida, make sure to follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle. I posted tons of pictures from this trip on Instagram. I have a ton of tweets about it, so you can go look at all of those. And also be sure to head over over to my side channel because I vlogged throughout the entire trip. So if you want to see the entire trip in a vlog form, head over to Extra Riley Kyle or the link will be below to the channel. It is exciting. I had such a good time vlogging. You should go watch the vlogs and subscribe to my side channel. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I have for you guys now. I love you and I will see you on Tuesday. Okay, bye.